Welcome, everybody, to Funeral Nation, episode 226. I'm Ryan Thogmartin. That is Jeff, the Funeral Commander Harbison. And this is the Funeral Profession's only weekly news show where we talk about everything important that is happening in death care. That's it. And there's uh, a lot happening in death care. It's somewhat uh, muted in some respects compared to the big stories that we've seen recently. Uh, one of the big topics going on right now is ICCFA is having their virtual conference down in uh, Las Vegas. I say it's a virtual conference in Las Vegas. That's where it's supposed to be. I'm not sure if anybody's down there or not. Uh, I'll pop in a little later on this week and kind of see what's going on. I know that the folks at CNJ Financial, uh, our team is there uh, virtually, if you will. But uh, it'll be interesting to see what the synopsis is as we just talked last week of what another virtual convention is going to be. Yeah, yeah, it's going to be interesting to find out. And that, you know, this is ICCFA's first virtual because of last year that it was just canceled. They were the first conference that got, you know, slaughtered from the, the COVID virus and, and all the immediate shutdowns and things of that nature. So um, I do like the platform that ICCFA is using for the virtual experience for attendees and for exhibitors. Um, but again, you know, the, the, the registration wasn't through the roof by any means, you know, obviously more people would attend in person, I think, than, than what pre-registered. And, and I'm sure they'll get some signups throughout the week and, and that sort of thing. But it'll be interesting to see from a vendor experience what that what that's like. And, you know, are we able to, to drum up value as a vendor from the, the virtual conference so we will we shall see but yeah and that's sort of uh i think that's going to be ongoing news uh, yeah, yeah unfortunately it's going to be at some point we've got to do something and the math keeps really being uh thrown out as saying no make a change do something different but anyway um you know it's interesting we're coming up on memorial day and uh for my family and i we had uh, a more memorial day of sorts this past weekend on the 15th of may uh we lost my son hunter last year due to a brain aneurysm and i'm excited that today we'll formally announce that the uh nfda uh Funeral Service Foundation and the ICCFA Educational Foundation have come together and they've created a program, uh, Journey to Serve. And part of that Journey to Serve is a scholarship for a military veteran that is enrolled and going to mortuary school. And that scholarship is in the name of my son, Hunter M. Harbison. And so before we move a little further with uh, details, let's go ahead and show the video that uh, we created for the site. Hunter McCoy Harbison was born July the 26th, 1991, and died May 15th, 2020 from a brain aneurysm. The Hunter M. Harbison Memorial Scholarship is created to provide a fund for selected U.S. veterans to further their education at an accredited mortuary science school. As a natural athlete and leader, Hunter was honored with the Hargrave Military Academy Class of 2010 Leadership Award. Hunter, like many generations of family before him, including his father, Jeff the Funeral Commander Harbison, served our country in military service. While in school, Hunter worked alongside his father at Family Choice Funerals and Cremations in Virginia. Hunter loved family, friends, the beach, cars, and cigars with his dad. His happy disposition made loving and being his friend easy. It's our desire that the recipients of this scholarship utilize their skills and experiences from military service to become an educated funeral service professional. As an even greater purpose, keep Hunter's memory and wonderful spirit alive in service to others. Okay, and Ryan, I want to thank you. Uh, your team did an awesome job uh, with creating that video, putting it together. We'll have some social media things going out um, between the foundations and obviously with us. But more importantly, I just see it as a, a way to keep Hunter's name and his spirit alive and the opportunity uh, to participate with Journey to Serve to help veterans come into our, our business and they can continue 
servicing. So I'm, I'm excited about that. And of course, you know, we'll, we've got the uh, little banner here of how to go to the site. But I also want to thank uh, personally Kelly Mannion, who just did fantastic job. Thank you so much. And, you know, the other workers and you as well um, at Disrupt Media for creating this. But, uh, you know, think about that. It's, it's something going on, bringing in military service people. They always wanted to serve. They were great at service. And now we're giving them an opportunity to continue their service to others through the funeral business. Yeah, I love it. And we, we had the folks on a few weeks ago uh, with, with Journey to Serve, really kind of detailing the launch and, and what was going to take place and why this, this program has been created. Um, so uh, much love to you and, and your family. And I think it's fantastic that, that there's a, a memorial scholarship now in Hunter's honor. Um, so you can continue the legacy that, that he started and that your family has had and in the profession and in the military as well. So um, really cool uh, opportunity. And I just, I love the way that the profession is allowing um, veterans to, to serve and funeral homes have hired veterans for years for, you know, part-time work and answering the door and doing some of the, those things. And, and now actually getting a program together where we can get more veterans who really, I mean, it's in my opinion, some of the highest level of service and, and selflessness that you're going to find, um, in the military. And now being able to continue that service in another capacity, but at, still at an extremely high level, uh, I think it's fantastic. I agree with you. And uh, interestingly enough, Hunter and his best friend, Zach Osborne, were our um, transfer removal team in Roanoke, Virginia mm. for Family Choice Funerals and Cremations. And he worked down in Virginia Beach with us. Both those guys were in the military. They were in college. And they did a fantastic job, uh, especially hospice nurses and families just love to you know, sharp, compassionate, good looking young men to come in there and share love with them. And uh, so they were particularly good at it. And I think that um, this Journey to Serve program is something that actually we were doing way back in 2010, 2011, now um, gets to be perpetuated and help others. Love it. Love it. I'm so excited for it. Um, and I think it's a great way to, to honor Hunter and um, so we've got all the information on the screen and then down in the description of the video, we'll have the links and, and things where you can go take part in, in the Journey to Serve uh, project. That's it. And thank you, you know, to CNJ Financial, you know, the mm -hmm. uh, sponsor, obviously our funeral nation, but they're also helping sponsor this scholarship. And to let you know, uh, folks, we've got two scholarships annually, one in the spring and one in the fall for students, you know, uh, going to school in different times. So uh, we appreciate y'all uh, keeping that alive and uh, helping our business grow and uh, with good people. Speaking of which, you know, I saw that legacy.com is doing free obituaries for veterans. You know, I, yes. I, I just see now all these things that are going on within our funeral profession. And now this, the veterans are starting to rise to the top to recognize their contributions. And I'm grateful to John and the folks over at uh, Legacy as well for putting that out. Absolutely. And we had John on earlier this year to really kind of try to set the story straight about Legacy and, and who Legacy is and really what they're committing to the profession. And you and I got to spend time with John a couple of weeks ago at the Live Oak Bank and, and Foresight Company's uh, supplier roundtable gathering here in Scottsdale. And you know, John's just a great guy and what he really brings to the table for legacy and, and how much they care about the profession. They're really doing some great things. And um, I'm always for any way that we can support and honor our, our veterans. So uh, great thing that the legacy is doing. Yeah, it's awesome. In fact, uh, John was on my golf team uh, when we played over there at the uh, stadium course. So you, he's a good guy and he's also a really good guy to have on your golf team. And it just personally, I admire him a lot. Yeah. Well, Ryan, we got a lot uh, going on coming up in the next couple of weeks. And so uh, we're going to have some interesting interviews. We've got uh, people scheduled to come in. I'm excited about that. It seems like uh, I saw Park Lawn just reported uh, and had an article out on uh, Funeral Director Daily. 
And it looks like all engines are pumping for most companies in our funeral profession. So yeah. it'll be interesting to see how, again, the year tapers off with deaths, but our revenue per call seems to be creeping back up. And there's, uh, if this is a crazy word, but there may be some normalcy coming to uh, our business again. We shall see. All right, buddy. Well, thanks a lot for uh, putting this together today. And uh, we look forward to chatting again shortly. Okay. Until next time, have a great effing week. Out here. Get you out of the